In this video, let's go over the top stocks that I'm watching for this week as well as for the month of October. We got a lot of great plays, a lot of blue chip stocks. We have option shares for day trades and swing trades. And then we also got some a lot of incredible, incredible shares play for the month of October. So we have a lot of stock setups that I'm watching and that I want to go over to keep you guys prepared for this week and for this month. And we got incredible setups, so make sure to subscribe with the notifications on and make sure to leave a like and go to sundaystocktalk.com to get a completely free newsletter. So you guys can sign up to my newsletter at sundaystocktalk.com and get these newsletters right in your email. So you can have this very nice newsletter and get alerted with the top stock setups that I'm watching for the month and the week. And follow me on Twitter for live buy and sell alerts. This is where I'm going to be sending out. I'm buying Roblox or I'm buying Apple or whatever it is. This is where I'm going to be sending you guys live buy and sell alerts from my own account. So let's get started. Subscribe with notifications on and let's get started. So this week we do have some news on catalysts. Now this is very important if you have weekly options. So if you have this week expiration uh, options, it is very important that you guys know of these catalysts. On Monday we have the Fed Chair Powell speaking. A lot of vol volatility on a Monday. And then on Friday we have the unemployment rate. So these are the two uh, numbers and catalysts to watch out for. But mostly Monday is kind of the danger zone with the Fed Chair Powell speaking. Whatever he he says really affects the market so that is what we are watching for this week um, for it and the next week we do have the inflation numbers which is going to be very very important so that is going to lead us into next week for the rest of the month so let's get started with the spy and the overall market which is the s p 500 taking a look at the weekly time frame we could see that we have hit the level of support okay we're talking about another crucial level of support and this to me looks like the bottom okay, we talked a lot about before where again the market just doesn't go up we need these pullbacks and we have finally found a level of support to rest on so i really think this is the bottom but we are bearish if we break below this so we need to hold this level of support or else we are bearish taking a look at the daily time frame our price target to the upside um, we have this gap so this gap is a nice psychological analysis to fill this gap um, price target at 438 as well as this level of resistance um, for this spy so we have this gap and then we have the level of resistance but pretty much uh, us just consolidating and trading until we break out to the upside but this level is what we are watching we just need to hold this level for us to be bullish for the spy and the qqq the tech etx uh the tech etf looks just like the spy we have this level of support we have this level of resistance and then we have this gap now, the first play that I'm watching that we have talked a lot about, so I just want to uh, do a quick re uh, recap on this, is Roblox. Roblox is the best setup that I'm watching for the month of October. It is a very nice cheap shares play. It's sitting at $28 right now. We entered in at $27 as I alerted on Twitter. I have 25 shares. We're taking a look at a upside potential of over 70% on the weekly time frame price target being $51. Taking a look at the daily uh, time frame, we do have a nice double bottom. And our stop loss is going to be the 24 level on the weekly time frame. So we close below the 24 dollar level on the weekly time frame that is going to be our stop loss so the risk to reward is amazing and this is my favorite favorite play for the month of october so if you have not already entered in this play this is really your last chance before it starts going for the gap because our first price target is actually to the upside to fill this gap at 37 dollars next we have apple apple on the weekly time frame we talked just a quick recap on uh apple also so we, we talked about this level of resistance we had this level of resistance for the past year we broke it and now it has become a level of support i'm taking a look at a month two to three month out expiration for calls to run it up to the holidays which is december so this is going to be a option 
play two to three months out um, for Apple. So two to three months out calls price target um, being the 180 level and more to the upside. And on top of that, on holidays, we do have holidays, which is typically bullish for the market because we have a lot of buying and all of that good stuff. So I'm watching Apple for that. Stop loss is going to be below 172 um, if we close below uh, this level on the weekly time frame. Next, we have Meta. Okay, this is the first time that I am going over Meta stock, which is a neutral play. So taking a look at the weekly and the daily time frame, we have this massive, massive symmetrical triangle. So we can either break out to the upside or to the downside. But depending upon where we close on the daily time frame, that is the direction where I want to play. So if we close above the level of resistance um, for Meta, that is going to be where I want to play calls. And if it closes below, I want to play puts to the downside. So it all depends on where it closes for Meta, but this is just a neutral um, pattern. So if the market goes to the downside, I want to play puts to the downside. And if the market goes to the upside, I want to play calls to the upside. Um, next, we have Amazon, which is looking bullish. So we're taking a look at Amazon right here. Um, another blue chip stock, and we have these three levels that I've really drawn out um, for Amazon. We have this 145 level, which is a level of resistance or our price target. And we have a level that we are sitting at right now, which is the 122 level. So this is the level that we are sitting on right now. And then we have another level below, which is 104. So our stop loss is going to be below 122 if it closes below on the daily time frame. And the price target is going to be, we have this gap and the 145 level. So taking a look at Amazon this could be a nice uh, call, uh, shares play like 14% for shares or you could do call debit spreads or you could do a two to three month out calls on Amazon just like with that Apple play but just taking a look at Amazon uh, psychologically we have these nice levels and I really like this setup um, for Amazon stock next we have a incredible play for coin, okay, which is Coinbase. And this is going to be options play for a breakout to the upside. So we have this falling wedge, which is a bullish pattern. Let's take a look at the weekly time frame first. This looks uh, a lot like our previous play on Roblox or GM or Ford or Rivian, where you know we peak to the upside and then we have a massive dump and then where we just consolidate and trade sideways for the year. But then we actually broke out for Coinbase and then we came all the way back down to test this level of support. And now we actually have a falling wedge. So I'm taking a look at weekly call options. This is going to be a short term trade two to three weeks out to play the breakout to the upside. So it is going to be on the daily time frame. If we close above the 77 level, I'm taking a look at calls to swing and price target at 86 and especially if crypto runs which bitcoin is right now running we have hit 28,000. it looks pretty uh pretty bullish right now if crypto runs coin is also going to run so i'm loving the setup on coinbase and right at market open if we start breaking out um you know i want to grab calls and i'll keep you guys alerted on x or twitter next we have gm which looks just like roblox which is going to be um a shares play so as you guys can see, Roblox, uh, GM likes to consolidate a lot. It is at a nice level of support. So this is a great time to buy in shares on for potentially a 30% gain on GM. So next we have these three share plays. So I am already in these share plays, which is Autodesk, Snow, and IWM. So all of these three stocks have literally the same setup we have a massive symmetrical triangle massive symmetrical triangle um, on the weekly and the daily time frame and our stop loss is if we break below the level of support and if we close below on the weekly time frame 
So taking a look at all of these setups, I'm literally watching like the same setup and I am already in shares for these, but these are shares that I've diversified in that I've shares in around 10 shares each that I am holding for the month of October. It is it is setting at right at the level of support all of these three shares. So what you can do is you can buy in shares and then have that nice stop loss that if we close below on the weekly time frame. So that's going to be around like a 3% stop loss giving us a upside potential to 10% to just hit the level of resistance and if we're talking about a breakout potentially 20% so these are some nice conservative shares plays okay really really conservative shares plays snow um, autodesk and I WM. So overall, we went over a lot. We had a lot of great setups, a lot of great setups that I'm watching for this week. To do a quick recap, SPY and QQQ and the overall market is looking bullish if we hold these levels of support. My number one play for uh, this month is Roblox shares because our upside is 70%. Our option plays are Apple, Meta, Amazon and coin and then our share plays conservative share plays are Autodesk snow and IWM So overall hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to go to sundaystocktalk.com to get this free newsletter and see you guys later Thank you for watching